This is definitely ne not the way how I usually start my videos, but this one is kind of different. And in this video, this, this is probably going to be 15 minutes long or even 20 minutes long. It's a talking video, all the talking, yeah, too much talking basically. But I'm making this video because I want to settle down everything about Hot Pursuit and I wanted to talk a little bit about my life, what was happening uh, when I did not play Hot Pursuit, when I decided to quit it for a while and when I came back, what was going on and like I said, everything about Hot Pursuit, I just want to end in this video and you might say that, well, nobody ca actually cares well, maybe, maybe nobody does right but i do have a hope that this video uh, will be positive experience for someone that they will enjoy watching this and if this video makes a positive impact on at least one person i mean that's already enough for me because like i said not only we're gonna talk about hot pursuit in this video but also about my life a little bit and how i'm i'm still changing but how god started to change my life how i found him and what was going on when i decided to take a break from hot pursuit but the first it's about god and everything my life we're gonna move it and talk about it at the end of the video because i know that here are on my channel at least there are people who are from hot pursuit community so let's first off start with hot pursuit and the first topic that I wanted to talk about is the situation, you probably already heard about it. It happened two months ago, I guess. Two months ago. That, that's towards the WSP channel and what happened on it. So, in case, just in case, somebody does not know all the information. But what I know and what I can tell you for sure that it happened because of two persons. Nika and Neko, if you have ever heard of them, especially the Nika. You probably seen that all the videos are gone from WSP channel and I know it's not a fresh news, right? It's not something new that just happened two days ago or three days ago, right? But I should have made this video one month ago, but I, I really, I did not have time and always when I wanted to make it something could go wrong. So I had to delay this video for a while. But let's cover this topic. If I started from that, let's cover it up. And so basically what happened is Nika decided to lock in WSP channel and delete all the videos, even from the OG Hot Pursuit, not even the remaster version. She just decided to delete all the videos and I was thinking like, what what do you gain from that, Nika? That's, that's what I, I really wanted to know because uh, that's this situa situation is actually reflects uh, reflects how people are are not appreciative. They are not grateful in this community because Waxon, thanks to him, he welcomed me in the team as well. He invited me back then, uh, three years ago, I guess, around that. And Waxon has done a lot for me, and he. He, he has done a lot for Nika too, and Neko as well. Because if not him, they would not be in the team, right? And I was thinking like, what, what could go possibly wrong to, for you to make this decision? It's, it's actually pointless, like, what was the point? If you had a beef towards me, Zane, or Chicken, then we could talk about that and you or you could just delete only their videos but why have you you have decided to delete all the videos even Vexen's videos and all the OG members of Hot Pre of uh, WSP team who were making videos on a OG Hot Pursuit what was the point of that you did not have a beef th with them if this is kind of a, sort of a, a revenge for to Waxen, but what 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 is something bad that he has done for you? I I know I might not have 
and uh, the entire case uh, in in my mind what what was happening because like I said you know I I was not playing Hot Pursuit for a while and I was not in the community but I know Vexen is not a bad person he 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 made a lot for this community for Hot Pursuit remastered basically but just by the fact that he welcomes anyone in the team and I maybe we all make uh, we all make uh, mistakes and we all make stupid decisions, right? But I do not think that he did something wrong with Nika for her or him. It's a female or male. I mean, like you never know these days, right? That's what these people say. Why? What What was the point? What What do you gain from that? From deleting all these videos from the channel? What was the point of that? And that's, like I said, this situation that happened there show basically shows how people are do not appreciate anything that in Hot Pursuit. And when I say it, I'm talking about myself too, right? Because I was getting sometimes too greedy and I was getting too prideful. It was back then when I used to play a lot in in arms race mode. I was I was doing some bad stuff too. I was talking trash to people. A lot. I I have made a lot of trash talk videos. You probably seen all of them, I guess, right? But you saw me myself included, right? We we do not appreciate what what we have, and. We do not welcome new players into into the community, and that's that could be the reason why our game is dead. Hot Pursuit is dead game, not only because it's just Need for Speed, and not not everyone is a, a king of racing games, not a fan of racing games, right? But still, also the fact that every new player that comes, at least for once in private lobby, if they do something wrong, that elite so-called elite players or pro players, OG players, however, however you want to call them, if they do something wrong that does not se that seems wrong in the in the eyes of pro players, that's immediately when they get hated on. And like I said, I'm not blaming only all all the people from entire community. No, there are some good people. There are some good people in our community still, and like I said, me myself included, I used to talk trash about people. I used to, especially new players when they were just joining uh, WSP team, I would trash talk them. But like I said, we have we have to change that. Maybe it's kind of too late, or it is too late, right? But it does not mean that we should not change. We all have the opportunity to change our behavior towards new players and what we could do for them instead of just put hate on them and just be mad with them, right? <laughs> and maybe we could we could teach them something instead of just telling them to leave private lobbies and delete the game or just trash talk behind their back. We could tell them what they really what what mistakes they have done and maybe teach them something and we could say right if you if you're not playing too well then you probably should not play in private lobbies but at least they should have an opportunity to see and to an analyze how uh, pro players playing and they should sometimes at least play in private lobbies so they could learn a lot from their mistakes i'm not saying that immediately the new players that just literally downloaded the game who have never touched Hot Pursuit before or even any racing game they should immediately get access to private lobbies? No. But at least they could play a couple of times in it we could tell them their mistakes and they could improve on it in public lobbies but instead what we do and I'm gonna say it every time, me myself included because I'm not perfect I'm not perfect. I used to talk bad about a lot of new players and just OG players, elite players, pro players, right? Etc. Mm. I used to talk about bad about them, but 
it's what we should change and that's also Zane's opinion on all of that I was talking to him before making this video and I was asking him like if he wants to say something for that so I'll put somewhere a screenshot here or maybe here somewhere on the screen and you can check you can see what he decided to say about that on that on that topic and I mostly agree with Dane we should learn how to be appreciative towards new players and basically being how we should be grateful for everything that we have and not talking even about hot pursuit but about our lives too but yeah let's 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 settle down everything about hot pursuit and so we have to learn how to be more kind to new players and we could teach them at least something we could make videos about that instead of just trash talking everyone what we have been doing for 14 years already right as of right now i already forgot what else i should have said but i'm gonna add, maybe i'm gonna make a second video or just clip them together and just add something else on it but as of right now i guess I said everything I wanted to about Hot Pursuit and a little bit about my life, what was going on, if somebody does care or what what basically what happened when I decided to take a break from Hot Pursuit. It was a time before the exams, before the final exams and I was thinking like basically what was the point of my life because every day what what I would do, I would go to school then I would just do the homework, hang out with my friends, just chill with my family and play Hot Pursuit or any different game. And I was thinking like, if that's what is my life going to be for the next, for for the rest of my life, this is how is it's going to be then. I was, I was thinking like then, man, I do, I do not want this life. And it, it, it it came to the point where nothing would interest me so much so I decided to leave Hot Pursuit also because of the exams and that was the time when I I started I started to seek God and the, these were the first times that I would pray like pray for real before that if if you would talk to me for example five years ago about God or something about religion I would tell you that I do yes I do believe in God right but my actions they would not reflect my belief in God my faith in God and as of right now I still do make mistakes I still sin right but I do feel that there is a change in my heart and in my lifestyle that I the changes that I I'm making especially and getting rid of all the habits that do not glorify God that that doesn't give him glory or do, doesn't honor him honor him and I still do have a lot of things that I should improve on and I still do make changes but for for the past year my life was changing and the crucial fact why why it started to change is because like I said I literally had nothing to do and that's kind of true when people tell you that you find God or you start start to think about religion or any sort of that stuff when your life gets boring or when you lose everything you have because think about that when you you did not hit, hit the rock bottom yet of your life and you have every, everything you want you would you would only think about yourself and how to please yourself and not nothing else so you would be arrogant and selfish probably and that that was me a couple of years ago and like i said i'm still i'm probably uh, sometimes i'm getting too arrogant i'm being ungrateful sometimes right but and i but i do admit these mistakes and i still change i'm trying to become a better person i'm trying to grow more spiritually and I'm trying to get as closer to God as I can and the crucial fact why I decided to change my life is that 
I started to appreciate what Jesus Christ has done for me and for all the humanity 2000 years ago for us. He literally God came down, sent his only son that decided to die for our sins, for all of our wrongdoings. And he basically said like, bro, I can cover all of your sins if you just put your faith in me. And I I remember this evening and I was like, damn, like, is this, is this really like, what am I supposed to do? Like, just put my faith in him and that's, that's it. And, and I, I started to take it to heart. I started to believe what Jesus Christ has done for me on the cross 2000 years ago. And that was when I first time decided to read the Bible. These were the first days of me reading the Bible one year ago, previous summer, summer of 2023, right? That's, these were the fir the end of the summer were the first days when I started to pray, started to reading my Bible and in general, basically started to, at least I tried to, be closer to God and that was the time when my life started to change and my desires what I wanted in my life started to change and I was a couple of months later I, I was a completely different person not many of my friends they they would wonder like what happened to me like I, I'm not the same and I I took it like like an improvement because that's what literally Jesus says in the Bible that when when you become a new creation in, in Christ people will wonder what happened to you because you're not out of this world this is not your world this is not your home your home is in heaven and that's that's how that's how I started to see that I'm going on the right path people start started to wonder what was going on in my life and why have I have changed and that was uh, a green flag for me let's put it this way and basically for for this year from 2023 middle middle of the year to to this day I'm still improving I'm I'm still changing and trying to get closer to God as much as I can and I was thinking like hot pursuit that's a good game that's that's literally the game that has changed my life and thanks to Vexen if you I don't know if you will watch this video but Vexen if you're watching this video maybe I was I wasn't a good person I I probably did a lot of mistakes and maybe I wasn't that appreciative like I am right now maybe I've done a lot of bad things I guess but I just wanted to let you know man you you changed my life completely and i think that was in god's will too because if you did not if you didn't let me in the team in wsp team i would probably never had to learn english to talk with the rest of the people in the community and i would not have and i would not get closer to god probably because i was i was also when I was thinking about God and everything that, you know, he, he finds a way for to, how to talk to us, how to, to get to us, right? And th these were the times also when I was watching some TikToks on English about God. And that's also was, it, it also uh, affected me how I started to think about God. Because I was seeing a lot of videos on TikTok about Christianity and like I said, this was the point of change when my life start, started to change. And basically because I because I played Hot Pursuit, right? I had to learn English. I did not I did not speak English back three years ago. I had to learn it. I was forced to learn it if I wanted to stay apparently in the team and just basically talk with the people. I was I was not like with a thought like damn well, that takes a while to learn a new language, so I'm just gonna use a uh, Google Translator for forever. No, I, I didn't take that. I didn't let it slide. Let's put it this way. And I was forced to learn English. And as you can see, it's been three years, I guess. Co uh, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Three years, and my English 
Apparently. Apparently my English is not perfect, but I hope you guys understand everything I say in the video and I hope I'm, I'm talking correctly without any mistakes. I'm gonna put subtitles also on this video because there are some words that I might, might pronounce incorrectly, right? But I hope you guys, uh, maybe you, you've been talking to me since the remaster and you see the changes, you see the improvements in, in my English. And I, like I said, Vexen, bro, I, I really appreciate, I know it's just words, but I want you to know that you, you really also changed my life because you welcomed, uh, accepted me in the, the team and I I I was growing in the community I was talking to a lot of people I got to know more people and Vexen, thank, thanks to you bro like from the bottom of my heart bro you changed my life for better and thanks Vex, just it's basically thanks you changed my life for better and so basically what I wanted to add maybe maybe I'm gonna make a second video right at least I'm, I'm saying what what is on my mind right now what I just want guys to let you know that is that nothing can nothing can separate you from God's love even even you, if you think that you made a lot of bad decisions he still loves you and he can change you but what you need to do is believe what he has done for you on the cross the Jesus Jesus Christ that he died for your sins and and just pray to him talk to him say say to him what's on your heart maybe there is there is some bondage or there are some wounds that you have just talk to him he wants to talk to you he wants he wants to have a relationship with you and just remember, he loves you, no matter what you have done in your life, even if you think you did a lot of bad things, no, don't, don't listen to the devil, man, he still loves you, and he still appreciates you, and he made you perfect in his image, he does not regret that he has made you, and he wants to change your life for, for better, just give Jesus Christ a chance, man, you guys, you guys won't regret it, and Probably at the end of this video, um, or maybe we're gonna make a second one, like, we will see, right? But I just wanted to thank all the people that gonna be on my mind right now. I'm, I'm sorry if I don't remember someone, right? But what, what, who is on my mind is BG, Chicken, Yellow Fez, Glock, Naimizi, Yumi, and uh, also sorry to Yumi to TS team, uh, team speed, true speed, I'm sorry, true speed team, red, TRDK, sorry guys, I do not know your names, I just know your nicknames, Yumi, um, who else? Anyone that I have offended in Need for Speed Hot Pursuit community, guys, know that I'm sorry. I probably I talked a lot of bad stuff I said a lot of bad stuff and just it's just words but I want you to know that I am sorry for this I apologize for every bad thing that I said towards you and if I hurt you I'm sorry for this and just know that I'm, I'm trying to become a better person and I would I want to thank everyone who was in Hot Pursuit community and outside of Hot Pursuit maybe someone who decided to quit Hot Pursuit as well but still was in in connection with me through discord or any other social media i would i want to thank you guys for being always with me and being supportive and like i said glock nine glock nine easy yumi yellow fast chicken zane bg Waxon, wsp team entire wsp team who else mm. then that's that's all the people that I could have remembered. Marcus, CBL, uh, TRDK. I'm sorry, Red. I'm sorry. True Speed Team. I am sorry for for the trash talk for the videos that I have made. Who else could I remember as of right now? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all all the names that I do have on my mind right now. I'm sorry if I if I didn't say someone. I, I did not mean it, it's, it's just all the names that I can remember as of right now. Diaxis, Diaxis, 
he's not in hot pursuit community anymore, he's not even playing Need for Speed, but if someone is wondering about him, what happened to him, ah, uh, also Lunar, Arc Ninja, Lunar, and Fentido, I do not know how to pronounce your nickname, I'm sorry, Fentido, Lunar, thanks to you guys also, and if someone, someone is curious what happened to Diaxis, he is alright, for for the last time I had I was talking to him, it was in previous year, but he also believes in God. He he's changing his life for better, and everything should be all right. And just know, guys, that I I do appreciate from the bottom of my heart that you always gone uh, guys been with me, even people that hated me. Probably they hated me for a reason, right? I do appreciate that you guys were the, in the community, and I'm telling you guys. Give your life to Christ, he can change your life for better. And start to be more appreciative towards new players, start to be more grateful in life in general. This is what, this is the point where it, it starts to get, to get better, guys. I want to thank you all for being always with me, for watching my videos, for telling your opinions on my videos. And basically, guys, thanks Thanks and glory be to God, guys, that it happened that I was with you all this time. Oh, uh, also, Svalor. Bro, damn, I do not know how to pronounce your name, man. S V A L O R E S. Svalor from, from ZOD team. Thanks to you, man. You, you helped me a lot, also. You helped me a lot. Thanks to you, man. You and you've been watching probably all all of my videos. Thanks, thanks for it, bro. I do really appreciate your help. Thanks to everyone from the community. Thank you if you have watched this video till the end. I hope that this video, you could say that nobody cares and that Need for Speed community is a small community. That's right. But like I said in the start of this video, if this video makes a positive impact on at least one person, that's already enough for me. And also, guys, as much feedback as we can get, share this video in the Need for Speed community, guys. I will really appreciate it. Maybe you guys give have some idea uh, for the upcoming videos. I also probably gonna upload some Need for Speed clips because there are probably two gigabytes on my OneDrive of Need for Speed clips, and I'm just gonna upload them. I'm just I'm just gonna get them all together and upload. So, kind of last clips, if you could say that. Maybe I'm gonna play Hot Pursuit again. I do not know, but as of right now, I do, I'm not interested in that. But I, I'll, I'll upload some not Need for Speed clips if I have them still. Probably I do have. And then, I mean, we will see. Let's, let's not, let's not take a guess. Whatever in, in God's will. Thanks, thanks. We gotta appreciate that he's with us, guys. And like I said, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was a positive experience for you guys. And I do not know when I'll make a next video, but definitely see you soon, guys. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate everyone, guys. Thank you for always being real and for always helping me, watching my videos and being with me, guys. Thanks to you. And I'll see you guys. God bless.